After three months in my home country in Portugal, I am finally back in Germany. Uh, we just came back a couple of days ago and I still have to unpack all of my stuff. <sighs> it's been five days now, so I need to do it today. Now. I need to do it now. Oh man, the mountains call my number one. I'm just a life size lottery ticket in the hand of the one. The stress out, freak out's gone since we packed up the car. This plant grew so freaking much. Look at that. When I bought it, it only had like three leaves or something and now it has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves. Lots of baby leaves. This is awesome. <laughs> because I have to go to the supermarket and that's literally the only reason why I got dressed today uh, but first I'm gonna open this box uh, this came in the mail today finally these are just things that didn't really fit in our airplane bags and we decided to just send it by post because it was easier I'm very excited because my watercolors are here as well as my um, gouache paintings, paints, um, some tea, oh shit, <sighs> of course. <gasps> These are chickpeas from this lady uh, so every year we always go to this region in portugal in the southwest which is part of the whole algarve uh, region anyway every time we go there we always go to the farmer's market um, and buy this uh, tiny this very tiny chickpeas from this lady that sells them there these are my absolute favorite and also black beans Black beans are my favorite kind of beans and for some reason they're very hard to find in Germany. And this book, The Noma Guide to Fermentation. Uh, I've been wanting this book for a very long time and this year my father gave it to me for my birthday and I was so happy <laughs> because I've been wanting this book for such a long time now. I am obsessed with everything that they do at NOMA and the, the NOMA lab um, and yeah I'm s very excited to learn more about fermentation and experiment with new recipes and that was it
I've been super anxious this past week. Uh, to be completely honest, I'm not having a very easy year. 2022 has been quite rough and not only because of everything that's happening in the world, climate change, wars, the still active pandemic that we're all still recovering from, but also on the more personal side, things haven't been super easy lately. I ended 2021 by catching COVID uh, on the last week of December and so the beginning of my 2022 was a little bit rough because even though I didn't have any hardcore symptoms besides the normal flu symptoms and stuff like that, I did struggle for a very long time with long COVID symptoms and to be honest up until this day I'm still not sure if I fully recovered from that. I got very intense brain fog and was tired all the time to the point where even small things like washing the dishes, cooking, reading a book and stuff like that was just super overwhelming. And there were days where I would feel a little bit better but after one or two days I would just feel bad again. I was constantly forgetting what I was saying while I was talking to people, forgetting words all the time, which was super frustrating. Even doing this, talking in front of the camera, <laughs> it's a little bit challenging in its own way, but I feel like I am constantly forgetting words all the time. Um, still to this day, so I don't know. I think I only started to feel a little bit better around April or May, uh, but yeah, like I said, I still don't know if I have fully recovered from that. In June we went to Portugal for the summer. Just a few weeks after our arrival, uh, my father was diagnosed with cancer, with a stage 3 cancer, and the whole process that led to that diagnosis was just very overwhelming and frustrating and difficult to deal with, not only for us, for me, for my family, but also, of course, for my father. He had to do a bunch of medical exams, there was a lot of waiting in between, and it was just very hard and overwhelming to deal with the waiting, especially. Thankfully, the doctors have been very positive throughout this whole situation and my father is actually gonna start the treatments very soon. He also has been in a very good mood lately, so I guess that's a positive thing and we just have to... We're all trying to stay as positive as possible throughout this. This is not really gonna be a, an easy journey to go through, especially for my father. It's gonna be a tough couple of months and honestly I just hope that everything goes well and that he recovers as quickly as he can. Uh, at the same time all of this was happening, I had a very bad work experience, uh, which I'm not really going into detail about it, but long story short, I developed this TV documentary series along with this production company, this Portuguese production company. We started developing this project last summer, at the end of last summer, and pre-production started around January or something. And things weren't going very well ever since production started because, well, the main reason was that we were very understaffed. And so everything just quickly became super overwhelming to the point that our producer eventually quit. She asked for extra help, but our bosses wouldn't give it to her. Also, there was a lack of respect for rest hours and personal time. And for me, that's a big issue. And eventually this got to a point where I was doing the same amount of work that in a normal small production would be the amount of work for four different people. I have allowed people in the past to cross that boundary with me and I really wanted things to be different this time and so 
I try to communicate with my bosses how uncomfortable this whole situation was making me feel and try to make them see how overloaded with work I was and they basically completely dismissed and ignored my concerns, my complaints. They called me dramatic, they gaslighted me and eventually because I spoke about my discomfort in doing this project this way, they created this environment where I got pushed to the side they stopped communicating with me, they stopped including me in things that I should be included in. It came to a point where I, where I was just so uncomfortable with the situation that I eventually stopped doing my job and eventually quit. Not because I actually wanted to give up on the project, but because they created an environment that I felt like I wasn't welcome anymore and I do believe that this was all because I tried to set up boundaries. Overall it was just not a very good experience. I feel like I'm still trying to process everything and try to, I don't know, just heal from it, um, learn from it and try to move on with my life. I just feel exhausted, not even physically, but mentally and emotionally. Anyway, thank you for listening to me.